Do you want to know how you can improve your English skills? Today we're going to give you 5 tips on how you can do just that. Before we begin, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to our channel for more video lessons on how you can practice and improve your English skills. In this lesson, Wes is going to talk to you about five different tips that will really help you when it comes to learning English. So let's begin! Number one, review, review, and review. And I know that teachers have probably told you this before, they want you to review your homework, they want you to review an article or a book you just read, but the reason that review is important is because it helps with your comprehension and memory. So that's why we suggest that you rewatch these videos, maybe after a few days, up to a week, and this spaced repetition will help you remember the material. And we don't just recommend that you do this with our videos, but any videos that you are using to practice and improve your English, as well as reviewing books that you might be using for self-study or even music that you're listening to. Review everything, it'll help. Number two, use a variety of resources to learn the language. Don't just rely only on videos or only on books or just talking with people. Use different resources to help complement different learning styles. So for example, use videos to appeal to your visual learning. Music will help with your auditory skills and books are very important with self-study. And finally, use the internet to your advantage. There are so many different resources that you can access online. You can just Google the words online English quizzes and you will find numerous web pages that will help you practice and improve your English skills. Number three, set short term and realistic goals because this will help you realize your learning accomplishments. Don't just tell yourself, uh, I'm going to learn English in one year. That's not realistic for most people. So instead, try to set goals for yourself each week or each month. For example, you might say to yourself, each day for one month, I'm going to learn a new vocabulary word. And you're going to write that word down, its meaning, and study that word and try to use it. And this is just one example. You can set short-term goals when it comes to pronunciation, reading, or even learning new grammar. Number four, practice a little bit each day. I've said this a bunch of times before that learning a language is a marathon and not a sprint. Personally, I don't think it does much good if somebody crams and studies English for 10 hours a day. I don't think that's going to help you learn the language quicker. Instead, try to find 15 minutes during the day that you can allocate to learning English. I think it's much more effective to learn in shorter intervals. And take that 15 minutes and watch a video or read a book or maybe just listen to music right before you go to bed. Because if you're able to practice a little each day, it's going to help you retain the information and you won't overwhelm yourself. Number five, immerse yourself in the language. Really try to surround yourself with English. Now, I'm sure some of you might be thinking that in order to immerse yourself in the language, you need to go live in an English-speaking country. And that is just not true. With the technology we have today, you can really surround yourself with the language. So we recommend immersing yourself with TV, movies, music. You can use the apps on your phone to practice your speaking skills, your listening skills, or even build vocabulary. There are a variety of different outlets that you can use for learning English. So we suggest you really try to surround yourself with them. We hope you found those tips useful. In the comments below, please feel free to share any other tips that you may have that have helped you with your English. Finally, remember to join our social media classes. We're active on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. And practice and improve your... Practice and improve your English skills. Practice and improve your English skills.
That sounded weird. I'm gonna say it again. You realize you're learning accomplishments. Ugh. You realize you're learning accomplishments. Ugh. I can't even say it. Call it a day. 